Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, we're going to do another room on TryHackMe. This is called Intro to Offensive Security. Like always, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking it out. And please subscribe and hit that bell so you get new alerts and help the channel grow and share with your community and get the word out there. Okay. So this is the third room I did this week. I did intro or not intro, red team, fundamentals, red team engagements. And this is intro to offensive security. I went and spun up the machine so we can we don't have to wait for that. So this is, you know, it says hack your first website legally in a safe environment and experience the an ethical, excuse me, an ethical, ethical hacker's job. So if we go down here, you know, so before getting into cybersecurity and you know what is the offsec. Let's get you hacking. And yes, it's illegal and all exercises are performed on fake simulations. Okay. So your first hack, you know, you hit the start button. I already hit the start button. And then you should see a split screen. Let's go ahead and split the screen. And this is a very, very simple machine. I assume I never did it, but it looks pretty, pretty easy. It looks like it only has three tasks. So I can't see it being very difficult. And no, step number one. All right. So first we have to click on the button and then we're going to see an application called fake bank, which we do here. And Mr. G has, you know, negative. So he, he, he has to transfer some money in that thing real quick. Or this fake bank is going to be calling him for some fees. So step two is to find hidden website pages. So most companies will have an admin portal page, maybe given the staff, the staff access to a basic admin controls for the day to day operations and so on and so forth. So as you see here, GoBuster is the command. So you can use GoBuster dash U for URL and then the URL is HTTP uh, colon whack whack fake bank dot com. And it's going to use the dash W for a word list. And the word list in this case is just going to be wordlist.txt and then the dir command. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and use a dir mode. It's going to use that fakebank.com. It's going to have 10 threads. The word list is going to be word list. And it's going to look for the status codes of 200, 202, 204, 301, 302, etc. Okay. And Let's see if we can, step three is hack the bank. All right, so when you transfer, so, so right here it says transfer $2,000 from the bank account number 2276 into 8881. So I'm guessing if we go back up here, so this is 8881, this dude has no dinero. So we need to get this guy some money, okay? So let's go ahead and open up this terminal. If we do an LS, we see word list. So we're going to do go buster. And then we're going to go ahead and do, let's just see if we can just go back up here and just run the same exact command. So dash u for URL, HTTP, colon, whack, whack, whoops, not too many whacks, um, fake bank, fake bank.com. Okay, so with the word list of word list, whoops, sorry, word list, and then DIR. Okay. And it's going to go ahead, do its thing. So we should see images and bank transfer. We see that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So when transfer the money, blah, 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 go back to the page. What is the answer on the page? Okay, we don't know that yet. So let's just copy bank dash transfer. Let's minimize this guy. Let's just tack that on here and hit enter. Okay, so we have an admin portal. So it's we're going to be sending money from. 
So we're going to be sending money from 2276 to the account number is 8881. And it's going to be two grand. Okay. Send money. Okay. We have a, a transfer reference, one, two, three, two thousand dollars and it was sent. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and go back to the directory. And it says, congratulations, you hacked the bank. The, only if it was that easy, right? Now we're in the positive. Now this guy has like $767 as an account in his account. So, so it's called bank hacked. So let's just go ahead and put bank, whoops, dash hacked. Okay, woohoo, we got the right answer. So if you are a penetration test or a security consultant, this is an example what you'd perform for a company to test the vulnerabilities in their web app, find hidden directories, and investigate the vulnerabilities. Perfect. All right, let me... Uh, Exit the split screen, go back down, and then terminate the machine by clicking on the red terminate button. All right, we can go ahead and terminate it. Thank you very much. Try hack me. And now we can go to task two, right? What is offensive security, right? So in short, offensive security is pretty much breaking into systems, computers, exploiting software bugs, Finding loopholes in an application to, to gain unauthorized access to them. But remember, you know, all jokes aside, when you're doing these offensive assessments or never perform these kinds of attacks on targets that you don't have permission to do so because you can get in trouble or end up locked up in the pen. So if you don't want to be locked up in the pen calling mom or dad for some bail money, you know, stick to hack the box, try hack me, Vone Hub unless you have written consent, right? Just a uh, food for thought. All right, so you beat a hacker, you need to you know, behave like a hacker. Fair enough, like you have to think like a thief, like the cops have to think like a thief to catch the thief, right? So finding vulnerabilities and recommended patching before you know the cyber criminals do, that's awesome, right? As you did in this room. So we can say, okay, make sure this is patched because I can just transfer two grand into my account if it was that easy. Uh, you know, that'll be pretty, pretty amazing. Remember, this is just all um, for fun. All right, so we can com complete this. All right, so we saw what it's all about, all right? And the careers in cybersecurity, all right? So how to, how to start in cybersecurity, how to learn. People, you know, often wonder how others become hackers or security consultants or defenders or et cetera. You know, like it says, the answer is simple. Break it down. Learn an area of cybersecurity you're interested in. You know, if you're interested in blue teaming, red teaming, applications, you know, cloud security, whatever it is, practice, get your hands on, and start building that habit of learning every day, bit by bit. And you can use Try Hack Me. You can use other, you know, even your own, right? You can set up your own Windows server box or Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Linux and just try to break it. You know, just try to see if you can exploit it within your own environment, which, which is, is legal, right? So um, trust us, you can do it. You know, believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you can definitely do anything you put your mind to, right? So what careers are there? There's penetration testers, there's red teamers, there's security engineers. There's a lot more, but these are, you know, the head honchos, you know, the ones with the pretty... Pretty hoodie and, and and all the all the fun bells and whistles and to become an adversary, right? So you know a pen tester is responsible for testing technology products for finding exploitable security vulnerabilities, right? So a red teamer plays the same role as an adversary, but they attack an organization, you know, and provide that feedback from an enemy's perspective, right? And a security engineer, they will design maybe like a SIM tool or monitor a SIM or put something in place to uh, maintain a security controls, networks like firewalls or EDR or stuff like that. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and complete this room. Complete. Hallelujah. Congratulations. This is pretty much an informative room. So hopefully you can, you know, found some value. Uh, of what I said. If you have any questions, feel free to um, 
hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, however you want to reach me, go ahead and reach me. I would you know, be more than happy to have a conversation or help you out in any way. All right. Thank you so much. And until next time, have a good one.